praise God, Sister Valerie. Hey, bless you, Sister Shannon. We had some te technical difficulties. Sister Lisa, bless you, Sister Lisa. You and your family. Had some technical difficulties, but seem like they are dissolved now. Bless you, Sister Kimberly. Good evening to all the mighty men and women of God. be the glory. Good evening, good evening everyone. Had some technical difficulties but looked like the Lord has solved it. Glory to God. God bless you my sister, Sister Lisa. people of Almighty God. Amen, amen. to Wednesday night Bible study. Glory to God. Bless you, Sister Mildred. Amen. Praise God for you who stayed by to tune in. We had some difficulties, technical difficulties, but God knows what he wants to happen. start on with prayer since we're running a little bit late, but I'm going to start with prayer at this time as the others hopefully be tuning in. So Father, we bless you, oh God, and we praise you, and Lord, we love you so much. We love you because you first loved us, and you showed just how much you loved us when you gave us your only begotten Son to pay the price for the sins of all mankind. And only he was worthy to serve our sentence. And it is he who gives us life, life more abundantly, everlasting life. We bless you and we praise you and we love you, God, the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our helper, our comforter who assists us to live holy for you. And Father, we thank you for the precious blood of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. It is the blood that never loses its power, for it cleanses us even today. So Father, we ask that you forgive us for any sin, dear God, Father, that we have committed against you. Ask that you would have mercy upon us, knowing that you're rich in mercies, your mercy is being brand new every day. So we declare great is your faithfulness and that you are our portion. And in you only will we trust. Thank you for your goodness and your mercies following us all the days of our lives. And you said, however our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is, that we be like him with you in eternity forever. So we thank you for our salvation that is safe and secure in you 
and in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and in God the Holy Spirit that no one is able to pluck us from out of your hands. And God, we don't take it light that we say thank you right now. Thank you, dear God, for another day, a great day that you have made, dear God. Another evening, dear God, for Bible study, dear God. And we say glory to your name. And we ask that the Spirit of God would take the Word of God. Be the teacher tonight, Holy Spirit. I bless us with revelation knowledge of your word tonight. And that we might be a blessing to others, dear God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you right now. We pray, dear God, for all the bereaved heart ones right now. Our sister Deborah right now and her family, dear God. And Lord, give them that peace that passes all understanding. Keeping their hearts and keeping their, their minds through Christ Jesus. And for Sister Barbara's family, dear God, know you have the final say-so about everything. So we say glory to your name. We don't, we say hallelujah to you. And we believe that you inhabit the praises of all your people. So we make a joyful noise unto our Lord. And say glory to your name, dear God. Thank you, God. And you don't make any mistakes, dear God. You're the only one that's perfect in all your ways. And we thank you, God, that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And can no man come to the Father except and in through by you. So we bless your name tonight. And we say, Spirit of the living God, would you have your way tonight in the name of Jesus, a name that's above every name that's a name. In the mighty and majestic name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And say amen, amen, and amen. Praise God tonight. Amen. And as was some technical difficulties, but God ironed them out right for us. In the name of we say thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And the lesson tonight will be coming from the uh, book of Hebrews. Chapter number four, verse number two. Amen. That's the book of Hebrews, chapter number four, verse number two. Amen. And reading from the King James verses. And it say, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, why? Because not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Amen. Let me read that over again. Say, for unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached, it was preached now, did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Amen. They heard it, but not being mixed with faith. So we're going to talk about tonight the faith mixer. Amen. The faith mixer. Amen. The word mixed means to combine or join, to blend into a single mass. Hey, let me say that again. The word mix means to combine or join, to blend into a single mass. Glory to God. Uh, just a little example. Go back to when I was a little fella just a few days ago. I said, when I was a little fella, I used to love to watch my mother make her homemade cakes. Amen. She's, there's three women she did not allow in her kitchen. And that was Miss Betta Crocker, uh, Miss Pillsbury, and Miss Duncan Hines. Those three women was not allowed in my mother's kitchen. She would leave her eggs and butter out of the refrigerator for several days before she was ready to start. Now remember she said, I'm gonna make some cakes. 
mother would gather all the other ingredients that was needed and use a large bowl to mix everything together. And she had a large spoon that she would use to mix it together. She had several little bitty spoons for tasting for her and for me until she had the right mix. Results, some of the best tasting cakes our hearts could ever desire. In other words, that was a prophet because she, she said what she wanted to do. And she did it by faith. Now, my father, when I was the same time in the little bitty fella, my father brought some paint to do several rooms in the home. Long time ago, they used to always want to paint something to make it nice for around the holidays. Amen. So my father would get some paint. Amen. Please, my mother. So the first time, me being a little guy, I looked into the can of paint during that time, the type of paint that they had. And all I could see was a mess. Glory to God. <laughs> uh, but my father was saying that this rooms are going to be to be so beautiful. Now, <laughs> he was uh, speaking about the finished product before it even started. All I could see was some clear, slimy stuff at the top of the can and color at the bottom. Everything that was needed to get the job done, it was already in the can. Amen. Let me say that again. Everything that was needed to get the job done was in the can. It just needed to be stirred up and mixed together. Glory to God. And it was a prophet. Results, beautiful rooms. Amen. See, ladies, you know that if a man is going to get your attention, not only does he have to look good, but his words have to entertain your mind. I know somebody understand what I'm saying. You know that something is missing, and if you're not going to, you're not going to get your time wasted by anyone. There's no profit in that. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. So when we look in the text tonight, the word that was preached unto them, the them is Israel, did not profit them being mixed with faith. During a time when Israel was in bondage in Egypt, God sent Moses down to tell the people, tell Pharaoh to let the people go. So now after the he decided to let them go because of the last plague that happened when the deaf angel moved on. Amen. He decided to let the people go. And so they began to start complaining now. Things like, why we were, you brought us out here to die. They were satisfied being in bondage rather than have their freedom. Glory to God. They've been complaining like, God, we, we, we miss our lease. You know, something like an onion that they mix to put in their food. And we, we don't have anything to eat. And God sent down manna. And then they hollered by they didn't have any meat. And God let fowl, let birds come in, in, in abundance. And they, then they hollered they didn't have anything to drink. You brought us out here to die. That's what they was complaining about. God sent the word, said, you're free now. But they just murmured and complained against Moses. So it did not profit them. Why? Because it was not mixed with faith. They allowed unbelief, glory to God, to have control over their faith. So that the word preached was mixed with unbelief and was not mixed with faith. There's a danger in that. They should have been thankful that God delivered them from bondage and showing them miracles and signs and wonders. They seen things that we would have loved to have seen today. 
Yet what came out of their mouth was unbelief, not faith. You see, our mouth is the mixing bowl. So you got to be careful what you say out your mouth. The word is near you. Romans 8, Romans 10 and 8 said the word is near you even in your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's right there in you. It's in your mouth. For out of the bundles of the heart, the mouth speaking. Our confessions declares, confirms, and seal the belief in our heart. From out of the bundles of the heart, I say it again, at the mouth speaking. So be careful what you're saying out your mouth. The word that was preached to them couldn't profit them nothing because it was not mixed with faith. And remember now, your mouth is the mixing bowl. Be careful what comes out of your mouth, out of your mouth. Glory to God. Whether we realize it or not, the tongue is in our mouth. And the words that we allow to come out of our mouth. If it's not of faith, guess what it is? It's sin. But whatsoever is not of faith, the Bible says in Romans 14 and 23. Say, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. And the wages of sin is death. Oh, you're going to get paid. Oh, yeah, you might not like your income. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. When we receive Jesus Christ into our life as Lord, and Savior. That was something that we had to do. Glory to God. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, said that we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in the heart that God have raised him from the dead. Oh, here's the result. It said, thou shalt be saved. Why? Because with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. But with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And we start out with believing. Hallelujah. But it causes us to act on what we believe. Uh, you can be very hungry and about to die. And, but, and, and you can keep saying somebody can give you some food. Uh, but if you never eat the food, guess what? You're going to die. Glory. You can holler all you want. If I, be, I believe if I eat this food that I am going to be, become well and I'm not going to die. And just keep repeating that over and over. And there's no faith in that. You have to take some action. Eat the food. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Our pastors have also so wonderfully taught us that no matter what we go through, what we believe does not change. Hallelujah. The word never changes. And we are to speak that out of our mouth with faith. Our mouth is a faith mixer. And words of faith come out of it. Even though I don't naturally see it or experience it. I say what God says. If God say you're free. God say I'll take care of you. Hallelujah. Hear what you ought to say when Philippians 4 19 says that my God shall supply all of my needs, not according to my broke bank account or my, my minus checkbook, but according to his riches and glory. A heavenly bank account never runs out. Glory to God. Uh, Galatians 3 11 says that the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. And Hebrews 11, 6 say, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that come to God, you must believe. You don't have an option in this matter. That he is, and he is the water of them that diligently seek him. Uh, so be careful what you say out your mouth. Because that's where you, you have to mix and agree with what God says. And, and say it, uh, mix it with faith when you say it. Believe it and say it in the name of Jesus. Why the Bible says faith without works, it is dead being alone. So you have to mix huh, the word with faith, God's word with faith. Uh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory the word. The Bible says the word didn't profit them nothing. They heard the word of God, but it, it didn't profit them because it wasn't mixed with faith. Glory to God. They heard it. 
Now faith supposed to come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. They heard the word, but it was not mixed with faith. Take heed, the Bible says, how you hear. Don't get negative faith in the name of Jesus. When a negative thought comes unto your mind, Roman the Corinthians, the second Corinthians 10 and 5 say, cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You're going to hear a lot of voices. Glory to God. But you ask God, Lord, I want to just hear your voice. And another I will not answer to it. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, you speak the words of faith from your faith mixer, which means your mouth. Hallelujah. Uh, because faith coming by hearing, let me say it again, and hearing by the word of God. And Jesus is the word. Hallelujah. But the Bible says in Hebrews 4 and 2, and our topic tonight, it says unto them the gospel, it was preached as well unto them. It was preached to both. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. Hallelujah. The missing ingredient was faith. So there was no profit in it. It didn't profit to them. It, it wasn't good. To, it didn't help them at all because it wasn't mixed with faith. Your mouth is the faith mixer. Glory to God. Uh, God's words knows when no faith is mixed in it. You cannot fool God. You can say a lot of things, huh? But if there's no faith mixed in it, huh? God and God can see faith. Hallelujah. God told Moses to take 12 men. Hallelujah. It's in the book of Numbers 13, said, a man from each tribe. Hallelujah. And want him to search out the land of Canaan. He said, which I gave unto the children of Israel. And my Bible tells them, Tells me that every good and every perfect gift comes from God. God told him, I have given you this land. Hallelujah. The land of Canaan. And he sent, told Moses, send out 12 men, a man from each tribe. Go out and just look it over. And my, like you're doing window shopping. Glory to God. Look all over to them. How I have blessed it. Glory to God. They, they had Grapes, a vine, a grape, a string of grapes where two men had to carry one string of grapes. Now, you know, that was very prosperous. He said, but the 11 men that out of the 12 came back with the evil report. All glory to God, except for one. Uh, their faith mixer got contaminated with doubt, with unbelief. Hallelujah. Careful what you say out your mouth. Uh, Sometimes the Bible says you need to study to be quiet. Glory to God. Hear what they say. They brought a bad report. They said that the land is flowing with milk and honey. Now that ought to have been enough right there for them to say we gone in because God has already given it to us. Say, but but the son that was it was the excuse. But the sons of Enoch was as giants. And in our sight, we was at just little bitty ants. Glory to God. How do you know how somebody's looking at you? Careful what comes out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus. And hear what they say. There were the Amalekites. There were the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Canaanites. They are also in the land. They forgot about what God told them. Hey, I've given this to you. It's yours. Glory to God. All you got to do is go in and possess it. I've given it to you. Glory to God. And all the camp got all shook up. Except Joshua and Caleb. And everybody they began to say, they brought an evil report back and, and they began to speak, hallelujah, negative things, things of unbelief out of their mouth. In other words, did God really give us this land? Look at all of these people that's in here. All of our enemies are in the land, but they forgot the point. But God said, I've given it to you. Hallelujah. And Caleb began to steal the people.
before Moses and said, let us go up right now. We're wasting time right now. Uh, at once and we can possess the land. Ah, his faith makes it begin to speak out. He still the people. Glory to God. He said, for we are well over to overcome them. Listen, you don't understand. You forgot who was on your side. If God be for us, who can be against us? In the name of Jesus. Ah, words was, his words was mixed with faith. We can do it. Why we can do it? Because God gave it to us. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. God sent Moses to Egypt to tell Pharaoh, let the people go. They seen the hand of God work through all of the ten plagues that was existing. Glory to God. They were set free, and, and when things seemed to be no way out, they complained. Hallelujah. They seen miracles. They seen the ten plagues. They seen with Egypt that how God was against Egypt. Water turned to blood. Frogs crawled all over the land. Lice and flies and balls came up on all of the animals. And glory to God. And, and it thundered hell. As in fire, locusts became the darkness for three days. The Passover stepped up. God showed them all the power. Hallelujah. There was so much power that we would have loved to have seen. Hallelujah. But they came back with a negative report. So the Lord told Moses that the 11 men that brought back the evil report and all the people that murmured in, against him, him in unbelief. They were not entering to the promised land. Glory to God. He said there's going to be an exception here. Only Caleb and Joshua and the little ones will enter in. But even the little ones would have to suffer for what the adults, their unbelief. Glory to God. Oh, we can make people suffer because of our own belief. Be careful. What you say around your children, around people, in the name of Jesus. The men searched the land for 40 days so God would have them wander in the wilderness one year for each day. Glory to God. Until the older group, all of those unbelievers, all those negative faith people, hallelujah, they had the word. It was preached to them. But they didn't mix it with faith. They mixed it with unbelief. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Glory to God. Uh, the men searched the land 40 days. Say that again. But God punished them one year for each day that they would wander in the wilderness until all the old murmurs and complainers would, would die off. They will not enter into God's rest. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Remember one thing. Uh, we have a faith mixer. Be on God. Not to contaminate your faith mixer. In words of unbelief. How you can contaminate it. In words of unbelief. In words of doubt. In words of death. Or anything that would hold up your blessings. Glory to God. Bible and Psalms 141 say, Set a watch over your mouth. Keep the doors of your lips. It warns us to be careful what comes out of our faith mixture. Glory to God. Psalms 119, David made a Let Lord, let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in that sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory to God. You got a mixing bowl. Hallelujah. Be careful what comes out your mouth. Amen. Agree with God. Hey, I'm almost through. Jesus spoke the word about his suffering and death and resurrection. Hallelujah. David spoke the word 
over Goliath. He did not fear him. He did not come in unbelief. He told him what he was going to do to him. And he followed through everything that he said that he was going to do. Moses spoke the word about Egypt to Egypt leaders in the army. He told the Israelites, this Pharaoh army that you see, you will have to worry about it. You will not see them no more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now I listened to what the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years, she said that if I can just touch, she didn't have no unbelief. I mean, her word was mixed with faith. If I can just get through this crowd and I can just touch the hem of his garment, I ain't going to have to worry about it. I know I'll be made whole. And Jesus spoke the word to tell Lazarus to come out the grave. He didn't stutter in any unbelief. And that's our pattern to follow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He called them out of the grave. He said, Father, I know that you hear me always. Hallelujah. But I'm saying this because of those who don't believe. Amen. He was a greater example. Speak the word what God says. Hallelujah. Speak the word woman that had the issue of blood for 18 long years. Jesus spoke the word, hallelujah, with faith. Said, woman, thou loose of your infirmity in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So there's five little things now to use in your faith mixer. First of all, you have to read God's word. Spend you some time with God. Hallelujah. Because God and his word is one. And believe the word. Believe what you read God's word. Hallelujah. Believe what you read. Ask God to give you revelation knowledge of his word. And that you can believe the word. So the next thing that you do when you're praying, you don't pray your feelings. You pray the word. So why do I pray the word? Because God watches over his word to perform it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then so now, now you're ready to speak the word out of your faith mixer. Speak the word that you believe, that you have received. Speak it, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And you can't fool God. God knows when it's mixed with faith. Then you act on what you believe. Hallelujah. You act on what you believe. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Ah, I say again when our pastor say, no matter what situation that we go through, what you believe does not change. So when you speak something, you're not going to speak any unbelief. You want the word to profit you. That's power in the word of God. But don't let negativity get involved in it. Don't let unbelief get involved in it. Don't let doubt get involved in it. Don't let fear get involved in it. As they did when they was down in Canaan, when they got the report. God punished them one year. For each day that it took the men to come back and bring the report. Or in the name of Jesus. So praise God for you tonight. Even though we had network difficulties. God saw fit for the word to still go forward. In the name of Jesus. So Father we bless you right now. And Lord we praise you and we love you so much. Father we hide your word in our hearts. That we might not sin against you. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God. Our Lord, our Redeemer, dear God. Bless us to walk by faith and not by sight, dear God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Remember every man and woman, every boy and girl, dear God, for the furthest corner of the earth. Spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, in whatever situation that they're in. Remember all the bereaved heart ones, dear God. Someone lost a loved one, dear God. 
Sister Deborah, dear God, and Sister Barbara's family, dear God, knowing you got the final say so about everything, dear God. Only you can comfort tonight in the name of Jesus. Only you can speak the peace to their hearts and speak it to their minds tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, let them have that peace that passes all understanding, keeping their hearts and keeping their minds through Christ Jesus. And Lord, bless those who stayed with us tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that they didn't give up, dear God, that we all got the word of God tonight. And we're going to speak the word with faith tonight. For we believe, dear God, you can do anything but fail, dear God. You're not a man that you would lie to, son of man that you have to repent. Did you not say it? Would you not make it good? God, we thank you right now that the word that we speak tonight, your word, it will profit us, dear God. And it will profit those that hear it around us, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And we shout glory to your name, dear God. Bless our pastor, dear God, tonight. Strengthen him, dear God. Lord, for the things that he has to deal with, dear God, on tonight and on tomorrow and Friday, dear God, in the name of Jesus, bless the word to go forward, a rhema word, a telemade word, dear God, that the people hear a rhema word through him, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you right now, dear God. Thank you, dear God, for testimonies coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. How for we overcome us by the Blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies tonight. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Bless those who didn't give up. Those who decided they want to hear what the word said tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bless them with a special blessing. Knowing that they're already blessed, but God, would you do something special for them? In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now. And we give you all the praises in advance. We give you all the glory right now in advance. We give you all the honor right now in advance. Hallelujah. Ah, in the name, ha, huh, that you blessed us to have you so down here in the earth realm. And it's a name that's above every name that's a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's power in that name. Deliverance in that name. Healing in that name. Breakthroughs in that name. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who is King of kings and rulers of rulers and Lord of lords. God, we thank you right now. And we say hallelujah. And we say amen. And we say amen. And we say amen tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those who glad to stay on. We had network difficulties, but the word still went forth. Oh, in the name of Jesus. And we believe that he said, as the word go out, God said it would not come back to him for that it will accomplish what he sent it out to do and that it would prosper in the thing that he sent it to prosper in. Hallelujah. The faith mixer, your mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Guard your mouth with all diligence. Be careful what you say from out of your mouth. Or in the name of Jesus. Praise God for each and every one of you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God, for giving them a testimony. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hey, praise God for you. each and every one of the best men to come to wherever you are tonight, wherever you are. And I say this is little bitty Billy Free saying, Glory to God. Bless you tonight. See you.